Hey guys, Chris here back here with the Chewy High Pen, which is the official stylus. Now, I wasn't so clear in my first video that I did on the stylus, which was the unboxing video. Uh, I wanted to point out that it does work in Android, and I will quickly show you that later in this particular video. Now, a lot of people are a little bit confused about the palm rejection. It does work, and so does the pressure sensitivity, uh, but only in applications that are going to support that, of course. So I'll just quickly show you that if I start to write on the screen here, and keep the stylus on there that my fingers, my palm, that's not going to do anything. So you you can hopefully be able to write quite well with that. So as soon as my palms, but of course if my palm touches first and not the pen, like so, like there, then it's mm, going to leave a mark. No, it's still detecting the pen, so I'm still able to write, hopefully quite well, taking notes here. Now you can, you can of course, flip it around the other way, use this in portrait not landscape and go to full screen mode here I'll just see if I can quickly try and jot something down uh, just the usual I, I'm not very good with stylus as, as you can see that's horrible writing um, and don't use them a lot myself personally I'm not a big stylus user just see if I can write something else here So it's not a supernatural feeling when you're writing here with the text, but you can see there that even now my fingers are not marking that at all because it's still within range of the screen to detect the stylus there. And as soon as I put the stylus down now, out of the way, I think then is when my finger will then be able to mark. Possibly not. No. Okay, so that is good there. Okay, now it's, it's only being used for double taps there for text I think that is I'm not actually too familiar with OneNote because again I don't use it don't really use styluses and uh, another couple of questions that other people had was how is the the accuracy of it can you get it to work right on the corners of the screen uh, yes and no I've noticed that uh, you can get quite close to the corner here when it comes to the accuracy Okay, that's going to create the, the window swipe action there, but try the other corner here while on the edge. So you can, I think, right, right to the very edge. And I noticed that when I was trying to select just a few menus or something like that within Windows here, that, that uh, for example, well, if I try and select these torrent files, select those on right on the corner, the edge here, and just the selection box that goes pretty much right to the end I'd say there's maybe a millimeter or so that the sensitivity or the the stylus is not going to quite work but I'm finding it to be quite good there and the corners right at the top I can't really see any problem with it see if I can bring that up I'll swipe that up again yeah, it, it seems fine to me, so I'm not having any problems with that. And of course, pressure sensitivity, lightly pressing, very fine line, pressing a little bit harder, thicker, thicker again. That also doesn't seem to be a problem. It seems to be relatively fast there. I scribble very fast. And again, I'm no stylus expert or anything like that, but this is a quick use. I'm going to move now over to Android very quickly and just to quickly show you how it works there. Okay, so Android is just booting up now. Another question too that pops up a lot is, does the stylus work on the Windows 10 only version? No. No, it doesn't. I have tried. I have even tried the touch setting GT file. That does not work either. So that's not going to work whatever you do whatever you try you must have the dual boot version for that the reason being is they did change some of the hardware the touch digitizer now supports a pen so there's a definite hardware change there so there's no way you can make a windows version support a stylus officially that is without some sort of real crazy hack having to remove the digitizer panels or some panels or something like that so here in android you can see now that uh, these stylus 
does work and someone asked to see it in action in the browser seems to work just fine they wanted to know see how it works with the menus accuracy scrolling things like that it's pretty much exactly like your finger but with enhanced accuracy there I don't know what applications within Android will support if there are any that do support the actual pressure um, levels that this stylus does have but this just seems to be straightforward and works fine and here you can see the tablet has just randomly powered off which is a new little issue that is cropping up with this particular model that I didn't know about until recently when I tried to plug in a hard drive it just powered itself off and now it's just happened live when I'm doing this recording so I think it's a battery calibration issue but this is really not good at all to see I hope Chewy is aware of this one and they're gonna fix it but I'm quite glad it actually just happened in this video because this is now the second time it's happened and definitely related to the battery getting down to about 40 percent 30 percent and just having it just go straight off randomly it's got to be something to do with the battery calibration so there we have it the stylus at least you can see is working in both OS's there's a little more information there on the uh, palm rejection as well as the accuracy on the corners and edges of the screen for me seems to be really good fine as well, I would say almost as good as my Surface Pro 4 with the edges at least and now you can see too that there's this problem with it just completely powering off on me there battery report 40 percent I think it said 42 but really I think it was only maybe possibly only about one or two percent so there is some problem going on I'm going to dig around a little deeper and see if I can find out more and how many owners are also affected by that problem thanks for watching this video and hopefully see you back soon the videos will com be coming out a little slower however from me because I am having at the moment some serious internet issues uh, where I am I don't have high speed internet at the moment and that's really going to affect how I can get things out. Hope to have it fixed soon though. So if you do see a real slowdown on what's coming out for me, that is the reason there. See you later.